Okay, let's set the uh, tablets on this overhead cam engine. Uh, from my tech talk, you'll uh, know that we've uh, got to set up either number one cylinder valves rocking or number four cylinder valves rocking. So I'm going to turn this over and we'll see what's happening. Okay, we can see this one is going down, so it's actually when it comes up, the uh, inlets will start to open. That works out pretty good. Bring it up, and there you go, you can see the inlet starting to open. That's now an overlap, so we're going to set number four. So it's just worked out pretty well for us. I, I didn't stage it like this, so uh, if you're doing it, you may find that uh, this one will start to come up, and this one, and uh, then the inlets will open. So you'd set number three. But for ease and simplicity, start at number one or number four, and then work through your, uh, your firing order that way. Just uh, if you've never done this before, uh, that'll probably be the best way to start. Start at the number one cylinder and then work your way through. All right, now that we've uh, got number one cylinder rocking, uh, that means number one isn't on compression. What, which cylinder is about to fire? Well, it's number four, isn't it? That's why we're setting the tappets on them. Because the tappets should be totally loose. Both valves closed, it's ready to fire that spark plug. Uh, so that's the cylinder we're going to adjust. So let's do that. You've got to know your uh, tappet setting, of course. And for this particular engine, it's 8th hour for the inlet, 10th hour for the exhaust. So let's see if we can actually get those in there. Okay, I'm happy with that one. That's got a nice drag on it, so I'm not going to bother adjusting the exhaust. Let's see what the inlets are like. Yeah, I'll tell you, this, that one's not too bad. decent drag on them so I don't have to set the number four cylinder. Okay, so if we're not going to set it, we'll carry on to another cylinder. So if number one was rocking before and the firing order is one, three, four, two, the next cylinder to rock must be number three. So we're going to keep an eye on that valve there and then as it comes up, we'll be checking the inlet valve to go down. Up it comes and there you go, inlet valve starting to open. So obviously we're going to set number two. All right, we'll put the gauge under there. And that doesn't even fit. We'll try the eighth hour under there. Oh, and that's a very tight, so we definitely need to set that one. Now we will have a go at the inlets. As you can see, there's not much room in this one. That's a little loose, so we might set that one. And yeah, that one's got drag on it, so we we'll, won't bother with that one. All right, we need to set one of the inlet valves and the exhaust valve. Now use the biggest screwdriver you can that fits the slot, because the bigger the grip on the handle, the easier it is for you to adjust it. So all you do is loosen the lock nut, and we know this is a, a tight, so we need to back off just a little. And we'll just nip up that bolt. Sorry, that nut. And we'll try and fit. Okay, we can now get the 10 in, but it's too loose. So we'll just leave that there. Put the screwdriver back in. We'll just loosen it a bit, enough so that I can actually turn the screwdriver. There we go. It's very small adjustments at a time until you get that feel. Okay, and there we have it. Now, you've got to keep the screwdriver still and lock the lock, lock nut. And hopefully that should be perfect. Beautiful. Now we'll set the inlet. Okay, you get the gist. I won't have to go through it. Uh, now what do we do now? Just say we've set that one now. We just continue on. All you have to do is just keep rotating the engine. So we've just rocked number three. So which one's going to rock next? Number four. So number four will rock. And then we'll set number one. After four, one, three, four, two. Two's going to rock. And we'll set number three. One, three, four, two, one. We've done rocking number one. So we've gone through all the four valves. And that's it, folks. Put your tablet cover back on. Fire up the engine, everything should be sweet.